Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to use any or some logical operator in SQL Server. First of all, let's take a look on definition. Any logical operator returns true if any one of a set of comparisons are true. Any compares a scalar value with a single column set of values. Now, sum and any are equivalent. So it doesn't matter which one you would like to write. So you can use any or sum. Let's put this definition into some written form and try to understand. Let's say that I have a name Amir and I would like to compare or use any and compare against set of values. So let's say in my set I have Amir, I have Raza and I have ABC. Now with any you will be using a different comparison operators in this case let's say we would like to say equal to any so in uh, we can write something like this if Amir is equal to any of these values so uh, I'm gonna just copy and paste and write in the middle so just try to make more sense equal to any so you you can take a look if Ahmed is equal to any of these values. So this is one in this case, Ahmed is equal to Ahmed. So that's going to return us true. And we will be returning the row from our uh, result set. Now, if there is Ahmed 1, and you can see that Ahmed 1 is not equal to any of these values. So you see that Ahmed is not, Ahmed 1 is not equal to Ahmed. Either it is not equal to Raza, and it is also not equal to ABC. So no row will be returned. So you can also use a sum if you like. So same thing. And let's put it into numbers. Now if I would like to say, oh, okay, if there is a number five, that's my scalar value, it is greater than any. So in this case, if I have a set of numbers, let's say five, six, seven, and I'm checking against them. So I'm saying five is greater than any value of this set so we can see that 5 is equal to 5 here and 5 is uh, not greater than 6 5 is not greater than 7 so our condition this uh, logical operator is going to return us false so it will not uh, the result will not be displayed in the output so that's fine now we can use less than we can use the not equal to so your choice whatever the comparison operators you would like to use with any logical operator now let's perform a demo and it will make more sense we have dbo customer table with the id first name last name and country code short name and age i'm putting some records here let's insert for records we have age 25 60 54 and 87 this is what we are going to use in our query now we have another table called dbo customer one table and uh, let's insert some records here so now think about a scenario if i would like to get all the records from customer table so i have this customer table here and if i would like to get all the records from this table let me see select so start from and uh, where age from this table is greater than any value so from my dbo customer one table so you see that right here so that's one of the condition i would like and that's how you're going to write you will select everything or whatever the columns you want from your outer query you will say where and then you provide the column that you would like to compare so here we are using age and saying is greater than any value so okay sorry any and then uh, you are using your sub query and uh, this will return you some records so you see that it is returning us 33 15 and 29 now in the customer table as you can see we have 25 60 54 and 8 60 87 now think about the very first value is 25 if that does uh, qualify for uh, or it is uh, uh, true uh, by by the comparison so let's say if we have 25 here and then uh, these are the values here inside so think about this part 
So I'm just typing those value. So you can uh, kind of make a exact uh, uh, comparison and take a look like what exactly happened and how. Now you see that uh, I'm comparing the very first value 25 is greater than any and you see that it is not greater than 33 so uh, not true then it is greater than 15 so that will make our uh, condition true and this record will be returned okay and how about 60 so if we have 60 here so it is uh, going to be greater than 33 15 and 29 so record will be returned we should have one uh, value here maybe that that's a small like maybe 10 or 20 uh, sorry 10 or 12 that then we, sh we we should compare that one anyways so in this case pretty much every record will be returned or we go other way around uh, so let's select that and you see that we get all the records as each of the value is uh, greater than at least from one value from the set okay so if i would like to do something like this is the age is less than any so you see that 25 is less than 33 this will be returned 60 is not less than in any of these values so you see that uh, if we run this we are gonna get only this row so that's how you will use any now the same way if you will have a let's write this query uh, if I would like to get uh, all the record from the view customer table where my country short name is equal to at least one of the values uh, from the DBO customer one um, country short name column so if I would like to say like this select start from DBO customer where country short name is equal to any and then I'm gonna say select a country short name from DBO customer one so I'm comparing okay so let's run this so I'm saying if null is equal to any value here so then return me that and if CA is matching with any value from a customer country short name column so you see that country short name has only us so you see that if we will compare that now in this case our value so you see that we have null this null will be compared against any and then what happened it will be compared against us us and us that's what is returned by our subquery so now let's uh, take a look if that makes sense or not so now null and is equal to any so is null is not equal to us then again null is not equal to us and null is not equal to us so that will make it false so this row will not be returned now if we think about that if our country short uh, name would have a value null will it return or not that's another question so we are gonna perform that at the end but let's uh, compare the other ones now ca if i will have ca here and does uh, ca match with any of these values no so this will not be returned either and then uh, we have us that does match with the more than one actually values here because there are three values returned by the subquery and all of them are us so us us matches and that's make it condition true because it should match at least with one of them now let's go ahead and run this and we should get the records which has the us because this one match with our uh, at least with one value returned by our sub query now remember we were talking to the uh, null value so our outer query has one null and uh, let's put a null value here in the customer table so I'm gonna go ahead and say oh there is record 10 okay now it's a test record and uh, test last name or whatever and then uh, I'm gonna keep that null and uh, leave the a30 so now if i go to customer one let's go here and now you see that uh, this uh, in the uh, subquery is uh, 
returning as null and our outer query also has the null so, uh, so you see that country short name from DBO customer that does have null now if we will compare that will null is equal to null work in this condition so that's a good scenario to test and you see that null is not return so null is not equal to null in SQL server so when we will uh, compare let's say uh, I already have done this test so if you say if uh, null is equal to null so will it return you uh, true or false so you say print true and then you say end else uh, print false so I'm just telling you null is not equal to null so what you need to do here see it returned as false so when you have the nulls uh, always uh, convert uh, your null values to some other values so I'm gonna go ahead and say is uh, null whenever you see a null value and convert that to the blank here and then also implement the same thing here so now null uh, the blank can be compared with the blank and that's how the null record will be returned from our outer query so go ahead and do that and now you see that we see this record is returned so uh, just a quick uh, summary on top of that if any of your value does match with the, the with with any of the value from your set values uh, your record will be returned you can use uh, any or you can use some so you can write some if you would like it should return you the same three records so you see that no difference so go ahead and uh, start using any or some good luck and thanks for watching this video i will see you guys in next video uh, last thing i kind of forgot here with the any you can use different comparison the operator and uh, you can use equal to not equal to greater than uh, greater than equal to and all different uh, operators what are available uh, here so you can use them thanks and uh, see you guys in next video